Let's now move to the second part of the presentation where we learn about powder diffraction. Powder diffraction is the most common application of extra diffraction. This technique provides information about the phases present in the sample. First, we make a good sample. The best samples for powder diffractions are sample with the consistency of talc powder, with a fine grain size and grain shapes limiting preferred orientation. The sample quantity should be in the hundreds of milligrams if possible, but when needed, very small amount such as 10 to 20 milligrams can still provide excellent data. Finally, the sample should be composed of crystalline phases. If you have not determined whether your sample is crystalline or amorphous, XRD will provide that answer. The most critical part about powder diffraction is sample mounting. The sample should have a smooth flat surface and the sample surface must be at the correct height. Whether filling a well in the sample holder or creating a very thin layer of powder on a flat holder, the sample must not look like a dome or pile of sample. It should be flat. In a powder diffraction experiment, the signal is collected as a function of two theta angle, while the sample is illuminated with nominally monochromatic X-rays. The peak observed correspond to specific despacings from specific crystal orientations. The plot of the intensity as a function of two theta can then be used to determine the material present and the lattice and structure of the material. From the data, we can then verify that the peaks match the phase we expected. From there, we can refine the structure. Another common application is the determination of the phases present in the sample by comparing with measured patterns from a database. Once the phases are identified, one can also determine the phase fraction. For example, we have 40.4% anatase, 41% corindum, and 18% of nickel oxide in this sample. It should be pointed out that the quantification can be done in a few different ways depending on the needs. A semi-quantitative analysis, only looking at the relative intensity of the peaks between the different phases, will only take a few minutes, but it may not be very accurate, especially if the grain size are large or the sample is not a perfectly randomly oriented powder. A refinement of the pattern will provide a much more accurate result. However, it requires knowing the full structure of the phases and will take a lot more time. Another issue that can affect the results is the presence of an amorphous component in the sample, which can be challenging to quantify. Most analyses assume the sample is fully crystalline. Powder diffraction can also provide some additional information about the crystallite size for nanocrystalline materials, as well as information on the preferential orientation, also referred to as texture, which is often an important factor to consider in metallurgy, for example.